Hola guys! The last video I made was a tag along haul where um, I went along with some family members to yard sales and they let me get some stuff for my pre-birthday. And um, we did that at Goodwill, I believe it was Tuesday. They let me roam around the store and pick out whatever I wanted. And I think luck was on my side because they had out some really nice stuff and I think I made a killing. So let me show you what I got. In Housewares, I found this really pretty picture. It's from a brand Versailles or Versailles. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But I thought it was really pretty and elegant. And I love the little floor de lis pattern on the rim. And um, it was $2.99, so I grabbed that. I grabbed a serving bowl. Uh, this was $0.99. Cents. I got four of the dinner plates for 79 cents each and four of these huge cups that I can also use as bowls. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. These were 59 cents each. So I grabbed four of each and I'm thinking about using this stuff for breakfast. Um, I just like the look of it. It's breakfasty. Um, I got home out of curiosity and I googled the Versailles Versailles. Uh, label and they sell it at Neiman Marcus and I found a pattern very similar to this one minus the big giant cups but very similar to this one and these things are pricey the picture itself was like a hundred something bucks and I couldn't believe that you get the picture for three dollars at Neiman Marcus and they're selling it for a hundred something I mean not the exact same pattern but very similar I mean very very similar so I kind of got a kick out of getting some really nice quality stuff for really, really little money. But uh, also in housewares, I came across this thing. And at first I thought it was for like forks and spoons, like your cooking utensils, because it was with housewares. But the little tray has felt in it. So I realized, duh, it's a jewelry holder. And uh, I like the colors. I love the colors on the metal. I think it's really, really pretty. So... I'm definitely not going to spray paint this because me and spray paint, we're just like crazy. I'll spray paint anything. Uh, but I'm going to keep it as is and put it on my dresser because um, I'm finding some really nice jewelry at the thrift stores here lately. And I think that'll be nice to display some of the nicer pieces. That was $2.99. Speaking of jewelry, I found these really nice green enamel bracelets. I love enamel. I think it shows off real pretty on skin. These were 50 cents each, so I paid a dollar for both. I found this vinyl Tommy Hill bag. Um, it's a little crumpled. I don't know what condition it came in uh, to Goodwill, but it's a little crumpled. I, I'm, I'm hoping I can figure out how to smooth it out, but it's really nice. It's one of the newer uh, models of Tommy Hill. I can tell by the label. Um, it's just nice and big on the inside. Room for whatever you need to carry around. It was $3.99. And uh, I thought it was nice, so I grabbed it. I love the color. Something different. Then I moved on to shelf in the back. And I swear, that area in the back of the store is for gifts that people don't want. And they just end up donating. Because I come across stuff like this. I found it easy feet. It's like brand new. It's still in the box. It hasn't been opened. Um, I guess somebody didn't like it and donated it and I grabbed it. This was $3.99. Four bucks and I grabbed it. These were like $10 at Walgreens or Dollar Tree, um, Dollar General or everywhere else. But uh, four bucks. I'm not going to leave that behind. Then I found some Aqua Globes in the same area. This was also $3.99. And I like them because they're pretty. And my house plants need help. Because I'm either overwatering or not watering. You're just forgetting completely to water them. I'm a bubble head like that. So I'm hoping this will help because my plants need help. So I grabbed those. Then I moved on over to the toys. Because whenever I buy myself something or whenever there's opportunity to get myself something, I want to get my kids something. Because if I don't, I like feel selfish. So uh, I found shoots and ladders. And what's funny about this is just the day before we went to Goodwill, I almost bought this for my kids. Well, more the little one. Um, for $7.78 at Walmart, which isn't a bad price anyway for a board game. But I knew I was going to eventually find it at Goodwill. I just knew it. 
and the very next day are you kidding me but I didn't expect to find the newer version and this is a new version uh, they usually have like throwbacks the old school ones but uh, this is a new version it was $2.99 all of their games are $2.99 I don't know if that shows so I grabbed it and so far my kid um, ain't understanding it too well my three year old but you know he'll get there um, after that I went on to the shoes of course and I found a pair of shoes you guys are either going to think is the ugliest pair of shoes on the planet or the nicest or the quirkiest but I like it it's funky I love the denim detail I love that it's denim on the inside and it has this little denim tie and it ties up about to mid calf depending on how you tie it um, I love the way they laid the leather to make it look like snake skin. The heel is funky. I just liked the heck out of these shoes. They're from Michael Antonio. Um, they were three bucks, and I thought they were too funky to leave behind. They're not the most comfortable shoe, but they're different, and they're going to get looked at for sure. Uh, so I grabbed those. Then... Um, I found some really cute flats. I don't have a lot of flats. Most of my shoes are heels, uh, but I love the color on these. It's this pretty teal, bluish green color. I hope it's showing up well on camera. It has this pretty little buckle design. Um, these are fossil, and Goodwill usually sells fossil kind of expensive. I think too expensive for a thrift store, but uh, they had their shoes for four bucks, and I could not believe that, so I grabbed them. Did that show? <laughs> I'm a little off. Yeah, four bucks, so I grabbed it. They're pretty good condition. Um, and I found these little leather numbers. I like the little detail in the front, the little gathering. I think it's pretty. Um, these are from a brand called Born Handcrafted Footwear. I don't know if that shows. It's embedded in the leather on the inside. But let me tell you guys, these were also $4. But these are the best, most comfortable flats I have ever owned in my life. I've been puttering around the house with them. These are amazing. They just like squoosh all over your feet. They're just real comfortable. And um, I'm going to Google, just out of curiosity, to see how much these cost, like retail. But I'd be willing to pay whatever they are because these are awesome, comfortable little leather shoes. Then I moved on to the clothes, and I didn't find clothing, clothing, but I did find two awesome jackets that I want to share with you guys, so come with me. I found this Pepto-Bismol Pink Chaps brand all-weather little jacket. I love that it's double breasted. It's so friggin' awesome. But the price is a trip, people. Check this out. Do you see that? $2.99. And the reason it was $2.99 is because supposedly something is supposed to be attached to these little doohickeys. I don't know what's supposed to be attached to it. On the inside, there are buttons inside the lapel where I think a different kind of lining, maybe a fuzzy one, was attached to it since it is all weather. But it wasn't in there. And the little belt holes are empty. So it didn't have the belt and it didn't have the inner lining and whatever's supposed to be along the neck, but it's still nice. It's in awesome condition. And for $3, are you kidding me? I'm not going to leave it there. So I got that. Then I came across this awesomeness of a jacket. This was in the dress department. I don't know who thought this was a dress, but they marked it at $5.99. It's a George label. It's a Walmart brand. It's like tapestry. It has these beautiful black flowers on it. But what got me are the buttons. Look at these buttons. They're like jewelry. These are incredible little buttons. And the whole jacket is just awesome. It's eye-catching. It's beautiful. It's long. It reaches past the bottom of my the back of my knees. It is absolutely wonderful. And for six dollars, I'm gonna take it. From there. Uh, I ended up back in housewares because I saw something that I went back for, and it was this little guy. It's a swan. Now, when I first saw it, I flashed back to my grandma. My grandma had one of these on top of her TV, and that's what these are. These were from the 1950s, and they were made to sit on top of your TV. 
and like the sentimental side in me kicked in and I had to have it. It was $4.99 and I googled these when I came home. They're selling on eBay. The same exact swan is selling on eBay for between $99 and $120. Bucks. I'm not going to sell it, but if I wanted to, it's nice to know that's a nice piece of change. And the last piece I bought was this little two drawer uh, um, chest, I guess. It's a little wiggly. It needs uh, the screws to be tightened some. I've already put my t-shirts in it. But this was $3.99. And I know that's an awesome friggin' deal for something like this. Uh, once I tighten the screws, I think it's going to be awesomeness. But um, that was my haul. And uh, we're going to head back out tomorrow. We were out at Thrift Town today, which is Friday, uh, doing a 50% off clothing. They had a huge 50% off clothing sale, and I made out like a bandit there. I need to upload that video, take everything out, set it up. And then we're heading back out tomorrow and Sunday to a few more thrift stores. Maybe we can find some yard sales because we're still celebrating my thrift birthday. So uh, once I upload all that stuff, I'll get back with you guys. But until then, can't wait to see your stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.